So let me officially congratulate Maria and her staff because you know she'll be the first to tell you that she's got an incredible staff and we see them work hard every day. Let's thank the staff and the board and everyone who's been so dedicated to that work. You know, you should celebrate the achievement and in impact that you've had at this 40 year sort of milestone. And it is a milestone. You know, it's a, it's, these milestones are important. You know, our country's history is made of these kinds of milestones. Uh, I will mention that the confirmation of Sonia Sotomayor as the first Latina on the Supreme Court Justice was one of those milestones. These things do not come easily. They take work, they take a lot of hard work and dedication, but you know, milestones like 40 year anniversaries, milestones like putting a Latina on the Supreme Court. Uh, her selection was a proud and historic moment for our Latino community and I think for the whole country. Not only is she an inspiration to young Hispanic men and women across America, she's an inspiration for all of us. One of the things that really amazed me and was I was proud of was the unity that I saw in the Latino community behind this nomination. It was really gratifying. Her nomination has resonated in the South Bronx, in Miami, in East LA, and in Wilmington, Delaware. So when people ask if the Latino community as diverse as it is, and we know we are not a monolithic group. But when people ask me, can we be united? You know, I look at what has happened in the last couple of years and this past summer around her nomination, and I say, yes, we can. And it's just a sign of the type of unity that we're gonna continue to need to advance our further agenda. Uh, I would happen to be at the White House event celebrating her confirmation and just this past week the Congressional Hispanic Caucus held a reception and I was able to see Justice Sotomayor uh, there. All of us were there not only to pay tribute because, but, but also because I think that we see something of ourselves in her. That her journey has been our journey. Uh, and I feel the same way. I remember uh, reading that her mother, a single parent who worked six days a week, scraped together uh, money to buy her brother, her and her brother, Justice Sotomayor and her brother, a set of encyclopedias. Well, uh, back home in Kansas, yes, I'm from Kansas, there are Latinos in Kansas, thank you. Uh, there is a set of world book encyclopedias from 40 years ago that sits on a special shelf in my family's living room. To my parents who came to this country five decades ago with no money and very little education, those encyclopedias represent knowledge. But to me and my six brothers and sisters who know how much hard work and sacrifice went into buying them at that time, those encyclopedias will always represent my parents' deep love and commitment to us and to our potential. And each of us has these kinds of stories. But I don't know, I think all of our journeys, I think in some way resonate with each other. I'm, on, I'm so proud that my parents, my dad worked in a steel plant. For 37 years, he would wear heavy toe steel boots and a yompa, we used to call these big jackets and a hat. 37 years, he would go into that steel plant and cut steel in the summers when it was so hot and in the winters when it was so cold. And my mom would be at home taking care of us kids and to make more money, she would take care of other neighborhood kids because I guess seven kids wasn't enough. She was uh, deciding she could do more of that, but that was all to add to the family income because quite frankly, we didn't have a lot of money. But you know, when you're growing up like that, you don't really know if you don't have a lot of money. You just know what you know. And my parents worked hard to put a roof over our head and we had a lot of the values that they instilled in us is what carried us through. That love of family, our faith, a, a, a strong sense of community, and that sense of, of believing in this country and the wonderful opportunities that it could provide. So we had a little bitty house, all nine of us in that little bitty house. I remember uh, the youngest five of us sat, slept dormitory style, and, and my older brother and sister, the oldest ones, would have this little nook off the kitchen and another one a nook uh, off, of, uh, uh, off of our room. 
And, you know, but you know what? One bathroom, we all managed to get through it. My parents, you know, we just knew that they believed in us and they believed in the promise of this country. And I'm so proud that they were able to see my brother Ramon graduate from Harvard Law School. I'm really proud that they were able to see my other brother, Carlos, my brother Carlos graduate from law school and be sworn in as the first Hispanic federal judge in the state of Kansas. Uh, I was uh, very proud that they were able to see my sister Mary graduate from law school and be sworn in as the first Latina federal judge in the state of Arizona. You know, my brother Carlos and my sister Mary are the first brother and sister in the history of the United States to sit on the federal bench together. And that kind of history is what our contributions uh, are making today. And I'm very proud that they were able to see me graduate from law school and to come visit me when I worked in the West Wing of the White House during the Clinton administration. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget being able to take them in to visit and to meet President Clinton and take him into the Oval Office. I remember my parents were so nervous and my mom was crying and she goes, ¿Cómo llegamos hasta aquí? And she was worried about her shoes and everything and I said, come on, we'll just go in there and we'll say hello. And my dad stuck his hand out and he said, Mr. President, thank you for giving my daughter this opportunity. And uh, the president, President Clinton said to them, you know what, Mr. McGee, I hired Janet and she walked you into this office, but you're the ones who got her here. And uh, you know, that's the story of our community. That's the story of that video. That's the story of the work that the Latin American Community Center is. And that's Sonia Sotomayor's Sotomayor story. It is the American dream that we know, and those of us in this room, if you're here in this room tonight all dressed up and you look great, you know a piece of that American dream, don't you? We have to be committed to opening the doors to that American dream to everyone. And that's what this anniversary is all about. That's what the work of NCLR is about. And that's the work that you do every day is all about.